we know at least we eat. You know what I'm saying? They looking out for us and they carrying Sister G's legacy on. That's what's important. It's been a it's been a long uh, journey to get here. Uh, we just opened up again in July uh, or June of this year. Uh, the kitchen and the feeding this way. It's been a struggle, but you know, Jean always did everything by faith. Uh, she never worried. She said, uh, God called me to feed the people and God won't leave me without resources. So she used to look at me and say, you're God's answer for me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so get busy and get to work. And, uh, and I think as long as we keep that attitude of uh, God will provide, uh, we just keep going. So it, uh, we have ups and downs, uh, but it's just it's a matter of faith to keep feeding people. Well, we prepped for 150, but we're doing two, 200 meals uh, yeah, uh, a day, Monday through Friday. Uh, when we first started, Gabe would take uh, takeout containers. If people didn't know we were here, he would take the extra food, put it in his car, and drive around to the places where the homeless hang out in the city and hand it to them and tell them, come over and get a meal, come in and sit down.